Hello, this is Seamus, N7MYW. Today I thought I would share with all of you something I purchased last week. It's a, uh, a new loop antenna that my friend Todd, KB7RQQ, uh, told me about. It's a wonderful loop antenna that allows me to do a lot more shortwave listening and, and hear some signals I just couldn't hear before. Um, go over to his webpage and check it out. KB7RQQ on YouTube. He has a, a nice little review about this antenna as well, uh, which just led me to, to kind of show how my setup is because it's slightly different from his. Being that I live in an apartment, uh, antenna space is, is, quite, is quite limited, and my balcony already has some other antennas for, for the other bands. But this loop antenna uh, is pretty impressive. It is an active loop antenna, so it is amplified and does uh, require some power through the USB, which I'll show you what I hook up to in a bit. But uh, this is the, uh, the amplified part, and there is, of course, a junction box out on the antenna. So that is where I'm going to take you right now. I'm going to walk out here. And, uh, well, first of all, we're going to say hi to the cat. Hi, Carolina. How are you? Yeah, we're too interested in the birds and checking things out today. And this is the loop. Uh, I would probably say, uh, without a tape measure on it, uh, pardon all the background noise, uh, it's probably about 25 to 30 inches in diameter. And let me get a little bit closer to the information. And there it is. Uh, Mega Loop. Mega Loop 30 plus. MLA 30 plus. Um, active. Uh, an active loop antenna, and then you see the frequency range on there that uh, will get you pretty much all the shortwave and medium wave frequencies. And I'm impressed. I'm very impressed about how much uh, clearer signals come in. Uh, it dropped my signal to noise ratio considerably, allowing me uh, to listen to a lot of the shortwave stations and hams um, in the various bands that I just couldn't hear as well with my ham sticks. And so it's a pretty impressive thing. Now this junction box uh, comes, of course, with the cable, and it's a pretty thin cable as is the wire. But uh, I cut into the PVC, made a, a groove for it, and put a cap on top of it. It does real well. It's pretty sturdy, and I'm impressed with it. Um, I just rolled it in through the, through the door with the others, and let me turn up the... There we go. And primarily it just comes in and I can just attach it to any of these radios at any time. Uh, currently I am running a Yaesu FT-991A, 7300, and then I also have a, a Kenwood TS-2000. But the radio that I use the most for this would be the RSP-1A, uh, and that is put out by SDR Play. Um, you can get these at, at HRO. They're about $125 well worth it considering the frequency range for an SDR receiver. And then I'm able to uh, to listen to everything and put it up on my screen if I want. It's an impressive system that I just uh, I can't can't stress enough how well it's done for me and it's done for my friend too. Um, go check out his review on his page KB7RQQ and and watch uh, watch how he is able to to do the things he can with his. It, it's pretty impressive. Uh, this was bought on Amazon for $49.99 and we had free shipping when I did it. And uh, I had it within a day. I believe I had it actually the, the next day and had that thing put together in about 10 minutes. Um, the cover photo that you'll see for this uh, shows what the loop antenna looks like when it comes in the package that you'll see on the on the header. So that is it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, it's, it's a pretty impressive little setup for the price. And uh, I think that uh, a lot of uh, people could really benefit from one of these, especially if you have a lack of space. This can be used also in an attic or in your front room. You can break it down. Uh, I've seen some hams actually put it on a tripod as well. So I could just put it anywhere and, and crank it up a little bit. I'm very fortunate that I have a, a little bit higher elevation out of my apartment, but it works beautifully. Anyway, uh, enough of that. I wanted to share that with you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. 
Let me know what you think, or if you have one of these, how it's worked for you. And uh, I'd be real curious to hear some of the other comments regarding it. So the MLA 30 Plus Active Loop Antenna is most definitely a winner. Thank you for watching. Look forward to the next video. 73s from N7MYW.